Welcome to our channel, where we simplify complex medical topics for you. Today, we're diving into a rare yet serious condition known as good pasture syndrome. Good pasture syndrome is an autoimmune disease that primarily affects the lungs and kidneys. Named after Dr. Ernest Goodpasture, who first identified the condition in the early 20th century, this syndrome has significant implications if left untreated. The hallmark of this disease is the presence of anti-glomerular basement membrane antibodies, which mistakenly attack and damage the body's own tissue. This primarily impacts two organs, the kidneys and the lungs, leading to glomerulonephritis, a type of kidney inflammation, and pulmonary hemorrhage, or bleeding in the lungs. The symptoms of good pasture syndrome can vary, but they often include fatigue, coughing up blood, shortness of breath, and chest pain due to lung involvement. When the kidneys are affected, Patients may experience swelling in the legs and ankles, high blood pressure, and changes in urine output, including dark, foamy urine. Understanding these symptoms early can be critical in getting appropriate medical intervention. Good pasture syndrome typically occurs in young adults, especially those between the ages of 20 and 30, although it can affect individuals of any age. It tends to be more common in men than in women. The exact cause of this syndrome remains unclear, but certain triggers may contribute such as environmental factors, smoking, and infections, particularly those linked to the lungs. Diagnosis of good pasture syndrome starts with a thorough medical history and physical examination. Blood tests are crucial for detecting the presence of anti-glomerular basement membrane antibodies. Healthcare providers may also perform imaging studies like a chest x-ray or CT scan to evaluate lung involvement. A kidney biopsy is often necessary allowing for the direct examination of kidney tissues to confirm inflammation and damage. Once diagnosed, prompt treatment is vital to limit organ damage. Treatment typically involves immunosuppressive therapy to reduce the immune system's attack on the body's own tissues. Corticosteroids are commonly used, along with medications like cyclophosphamide. In cases of severe kidney damage, dialysis may be required until kidney function is stabilized or a transplant is available. Plasmapheresis, a procedure that removes antibodies from the blood, can also be an essential part of the treatment, especially in severe cases. It's important to monitor patients closely during treatment, as the immune-suppressing medications may lead to increased susceptibility to infections, and ongoing assessment is necessary to assess kidney function and overall health. The prognosis for individuals with good pasture syndrome can vary based on early diagnosis and treatment. Some patients experience a complete recovery while others may have long-term complications, including chronic kidney disease. Regular follow-up appointments are crucial for monitoring kidney function and managing any ongoing issues. For those affected by good pasture syndrome, seeking support from healthcare professionals, patient support groups, and mental health counselors can be invaluable. Sharing experiences and coping strategies helps individuals navigate this challenging journey and can significantly affect overall well-being and mental health. In summary, Good pasture syndrome is a potentially life-threatening autoimmune condition characterized by its impact on the lungs and kidneys. Early recognition and treatment are paramount in preventing serious complications. If you notice any of the symptoms mentioned, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare provider. Thank you for watching this informative video on good pasture syndrome. If you found this content helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more medical insights. Stay informed and take care of your health.